The Montgomery County government awards green business certificates to local businesses that meet certain sustainability criteria. One of the newest recertifications was awarded to the Glenstone Museum in Potomac, Maryland. It was presented at a ceremony on April 25th in conjunction with the grand opening of the museum's new environmental center. Today, Glenstone was uh, recertified through the Montgomery County Green Business Certification Program. It's a voluntary recognition program for organizations, businesses, nonprofits that go above and beyond uh, basic green measures. And Glenstone hit it out of the park. Nine years in the making, uh, when we first started thinking about protecting the environment and making it a key issue for us at Glenstone. So it's a, it's a really big day. I, I feel really proud that we've been able to accomplish so much. And that it was possible to wean off of conventional practices. And, and none of it could be possible without all the great partnerships that we've forged with the community, both on, at the local level and at the state level. So I'm really happy. My passion in life is to transition the world away from poisons to a sustainable future. I call it the three eyes. We need to inform people, we need to inspire people, and then you, by, with this center now being open, we can invite them in to learn and participate and take the ideas back home. And so this is, that symbolically is huge for me. Glenstone, which features modern and contemporary art, sits on nearly 300 acres of rolling pasture and unspoiled woodlands. Its combination of art, architecture, and natural landscape make it a truly unique place. It was founded in 2006 by Mitchell and Emily Rails. It is such an amazing source of pride to have a world-class institution like Glenstone Museum in District 1, in the town where I grew up, having folks from all over the world traveling here to see one of the great modern art institutions anywhere on the planet. The new environmental center facilitates the sustainable practices of Glenstone's grounds maintenance operations. It also provides a classroom where visitors can learn more about green practices, both at the museum and what they can do at their homes or businesses. I'm so happy to welcome all of you here today to the opening of the Environmental Center at Glenstone. At Glenstone, we believe that everyone and anyone can do their uh, part when it comes to environmental stewardship. And that's why we've taken the time and spent so much of our heart on this place called the Environmental Center. Our founders ultimately instilled sustainability as a core value. It expands now to every aspect of our operations, from cleaning solutions to energy metrics. And here at the Environmental Center, we will initially focus our educational offerings on seven key initiatives that reflect on the work that we've accomplished in the, in the last nine years. We are by no means done. When you have the integration of art with landscape, with water and soil conservation, with sustainable materials management, and with an incredible education center. It really does provide hope and inspiration when we as a state and as a country need it most. You really are a model for the county. And I really do appreciate it. I appreciate all the people who made this possible. Um, and again, thank you for coming up here talking sense, talking truth. A few examples of Glenstone's sustainability efforts include 100% organic practice in landscaping and no pesticides. Planting more than 8,000 trees since 2013. Restoring more than 9,200 feet of stream bed around the property. And recycling more than 90% of office waste and food scraps. The tours of the Environmental Center are both self-guided and by appointment for groups. So here there's a lot of things that you can do regarding education. Uh, for instance, if you are a, a teacher, for instance, and you're, and you're working in environmental science, you're working in the sciences in any way, you know, our Environmental Center will give you not only a layout of how Glenstone uh, manages sustainability here, 
but also it will tie into some of the content and the, and the concepts that you're talking about in class. Drink water that's clean coming out of your tap water. Regarding environmental sustainability. So they'll be able to connect the dots in that way to, oh, this is what we're talking about in school, but also this is a place in our community that's actually doing it in real time. Uh, but let's say you're a community group. You're not necessarily a classroom teacher, but you're a community group that's involved in green life or sustainability. Uh, this will be a great opportunity to get together with friends, to discuss ideas, and then you can see how Glenstone does it. Entrance to the museum is free, but requires advanced reservations. However, people who use the ride-on bus from the Rockville Metro Station to get to Glenstone are offered guaranteed entry. This is part of the museum's effort to reduce its carbon footprint. The promise of Glenstone is what is most compelling, and that is their deliberate sort of integration uh, of art, nature, and sustainability. I think no one who's paying attention these days could deny that there's an environmental crisis. And so, yes, there are technological fixes that will help energy efficiency technologies and policies, but that's not gonna get us out of this mess. Gotta draw us in emotionally so that we internalize this environmental ethic. And Glenstone's doing precisely that. And I'm particularly appreciative of their environmental sustainability and the global leadership that they're having on that front, which is such a critical element of our leadership here in Montgomery County. Planting 8,000 trees, restoring 9,000 feet of stream beds. That's the type of leadership that Montgomery County uh, really represents and that is absolutely where the Rails family and Glenstone is leading the way for all of us. The museum is open Thursday through Sunday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. The Environmental Center is open noon to 4.